What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So I thought I would do a quick video because actually I've been meaning to do this for quite some time. I've had these things cut up in my garage, sitting in the corner, meaning to film this video, and I'm trying to clean the garage right now. So what better time than to bust this out? All right, so what I basically did here is cut up all these OE oil filters. These are basically all from a 350 Chevy. Figured they'd be the cheapest as GM 350 Chevy is pretty freaking cheap and then we kind of just break it down by how they are laid out so starting out i got the bosch oil filter at 9.99 the wix xp which is right here is 11.99 micro guard is 4.99 the fram is 5.99 the knn was 15.99 and the mobile one is 14.99 so i went ahead and cut all these up but i kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of how these look so starting out here this is the bosch the inside of the bosch here is the inside of the bosch canister you can see the little spring there here is the wix xp uh, obviously these metal shavings are for me cutting it but there's the wix xp right there the inside of the can right there here is the micro guard inside of the micro guard right there we got the fram which you can you can just see that the quality in the fram it really doesn't seem to be the same in my opinion than any of the rest uh and you can see in there can looks okay then we got the can in uh can in actually looks pretty good here's the inside of the can here and then we got the mobile one and there's the inside of the can there. Different uh, retainer piece and then all the rest. Pretty much all the rest had little springs like this. Coming back to the Bosch, uh, the seal, the little O-ring here. Feels pretty good quality. This one feels similar on the Wix XP. Uh, the rubber here feels a little bit less quality on the MicroGuard. It just, I don't know, it doesn't have a good like feel. The frame is just, ugh. I don't know, guys. Let me know down below what kind of filter you use. The k &N, this one is, like, very tough and rugged. Um, that seems pretty good, but honestly, like, I feel like the Bosch is going to give you a better seal with that, uh, I don't know, more supple rubber on it. And then we got the Mobile One, which this one feels just very light and super latexy. So, interesting stuff going on there. Let me show you the sealing portion of all of these. Little run through here. The Bosch, it looks to be pretty good. The O-ring feels nice and heavy duty. Uh, the Wix XP seems very similar. O-ring feels nice and good on that. Uh, then we go over to the Micro Guard. Again, it feels very similar to the first three here. Now we go over to the Fram. The Fram's just doing all sorts of different welded seams and all sorts of stuff here. The uh, the rubber gasket doesn't feel as quality. This one feels really good on the K&N. You can see that the uh, thickness of the O-ring here seems to be a little thicker than all of the rest. So that's nice for a good sealing surface. I kind of noticed that on this one. And then we go over to the Mobile One, which is of similar quality. Uh, the mating surface seems to be pretty similar to all the rest, but this one does have some spot welds on it. Now coming over to the canisters itself, this Bosch at $9.99, you know, it looks to be of pretty good quality. I do definitely like the looks of the Bosch. Now we're not doing anything like super scientific here. We're just kind of eyeballing everything for fun. Uh, the Wix XP, the Wix XP definitely has like a different texture going on here. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be the best look to me, but hey, whatever, you know, I guess I just kind of like this paper look. This is kind of a more bleached look here. Uh, that one's at $11.99. Now going over to the micro guard here, the micro guard seems to be a pretty good quality. Like for $4.99 and being one of the, yeah, actually being one of the cheapest filters here, I am going to say if you're trying to be cheap, go with the micro guard let me know down below what you guys think in the comments but like between the micro guard and the bosch let me just show you micro guards on the bottom bosch is on the top they look to be pretty similar uh with those two so very interesting here now when we go over to the fram the fram is where you go 5.99 yeah I can tell that it's $5.99 because this thing looks like a pile of garbage uh so yeah if you guys are rocking fram filters ugh. Look at that. Cardboard. I mean, I, I just don't, 
I see this just seeping through and going past on the cardboard areas, you know, the inside of it. Okay, cool. It has a cylindrical canister situation, which pretty much all these other ones do with holes in them as well. If you can see in that one, pretty similar setups. Oh, this is interesting. The uh, Bosch kind of has a spiral look, which is kind of cool to the, uh, to the inside of that. That is a little bit different. Now moving over to the K&N. Looks like a K&N actually has that kind of spiral effect as well. Let's kind of take a peek in there. Kind of see how it's spiraled and it has a little opening. So it does have a bit of a different design. The uh, openings as far as the actual mesh or the, uh, the filter part is definitely tighter and you have more filtration area. You can see the frame is very open, like open as far as what we have going on here. MicroGuard, Wix XP, and Bosch. Pretty similar on the first three. Maybe the Wix XP doesn't have as much uh, filtration like surface area or as many veins or whatever we're gonna call these things here. But you know, it looks pretty good. So overall the uh, the K&N looks very good to me. It does have that screw at the end, which is kind of gimmicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and then we're moving on to the very last one. And this is the mobile one. This one has a spiral look on the inside here. Uh, tight looking weave pattern going on here for the filtration. Like I was saying though, this seal here, this is at $14.99. This is very um, latexy. This is very inexpensive feeling, I guess, compared to this one. Now, mind you, these filters have probably been sitting in my garage in the boxes for three years. I, I don't think I've done this video in three years. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know down below what oil filter you use. Were you surprised by any of these? Did these, I don't know, spark any interest? Do you think one is better than the other? Let me know down below which one you think is the winner. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We will talk to you soon. Later and wrench on.